Hi friends, LD Vegan. I make another green salad. Uh, I make that most days, a large green salad with dark leafy greens, for example, our healthiest food. And it's important. The daily greens, I call it always, usually later in the day. Today, uh, it's an endive radicchio salad. Two crunchy and a little bit bitter leaves. I like a lot. They're very expressive flavors. They have to be balanced with other ingredients and dressing. A piece of radicchio, you see? It's the red color. And here, endive, the queen of salads, the queen of lettuces. I always have some different leaves at home. Now once a week I go shopping and then I get my greens. Usually I have large salads, one or two heads, and radicchio I like to have. It's a nice, it's a nice salad to add, to add to a salad. Because it's a little bit more bitter than the others, and you don't want to have it only. You could, you could. There are there are wonderful dressings for radicchio salads. Um, they are usually creamy, thick. Uh, that's a good thing for radicchio. But what's also nice to combine them, to add it as a seasoning. Yeah. They they fit together nicely. So for the end, I have these firm leaves. I cut them in thin stripes, as this is the inside of a salad, of a lettuce, of a head, and I stack the leaves, so I wash them and dry them, and then I stack the leaves like this and cut them in thin stripes, like this. This is the usual way to cut the endive, because when you have thin stripes, you can uh, cover a large quantity of surface uh, of the lettuce, the dressing, and then the bitter flavor is balanced easily. The leaves are large, they're not so easy to chew, and they're not so easy to balance the flavor. But here you have this, this, um, this, this firm leaf, can easily be cut with a knife, tender leafy greens you couldn't, and then you have this, this fluffy texture that makes the salad so, so nice, you know. The, the freshness of the salad leaves, lettuce leaves, is important. Here, the radicchio has an inside here. I cut that out. This is a quarter of a small radicchio head. I quite quickly cut, cut the center out. It's a little bit firm. You see, that doesn't go into the lettuce the salad. And here, as the same, I cut it also down into pieces almost. These firm leaves are really nice to cut. That makes it so nice with them. And then you have this texture of the salad that is pleasant. So now also what's easy, you can have a heavier dressing. When you have a tender leafy green, you can't have um, such a heavy dressing because then it meshes all up and that is important with the salad that it is a, the texture is fresh and light and you have fluffy and so the leaves shouldn't stick together and be all mashed and so then it's not nice. But like this, it's perfect and when they are firm, the pieces, you can add other ingredients too, without any problem. For example, tomatoes here. I put that in many salads. That is a perfect salad ingredient, tomato. And together with the tomato <clears throat> goes very often the onion. Uh, onion tomato is a salad on its own with a nice dressing. That's half an onion. Uh, that is also hot and hot and sour sweet from the tomato. A very nice balance in flavors for the radicchio. Another nice balance for radicchio for the bitter flavors is fat. Now, fat is neutralizing the bitter flavors nicely. Here I have an avocado, it's a healthy fat. And I have a red chili pepper, hot, hot and fat. is also very nice to balance um, bitter flavors. Bitter flavors are healthy, they are cleansing usually. In ancient medicine, the bitter element is called cleansing um, the inside of the body. And the plants, they grow bitter flavors because they don't want to be eaten. Animals don't like bitter flavors either, as we don't. But when they're nicely balanced, 
It can be a wonderful overall flavor. So I have these ingredients here. My dressing is from recent days chives parsley cashew dressing. You blend cashews with garlic and lemon, pepper and salt. You blend that with a little bit of water to have a nice dressing. And then I add chives and parsley, fresh green herbs cut and minced. And then uh, you have these green herbs, fresh green herbs in the salad dressing and in the menu and that boosts the health of a menu. The antioxidants, they boost when you only a small amount of green herbs make a super effect on the antioxidants of a meal. The antioxidant is that what counts as healthy in food, <laughs> mainly. So how to make this dressing, the chives parsley cashew dressing, I show you another video and you find the link under this one. So I, and here, of course, the dressing is a little bit runnier because these here, these ingredients are a lot and small, They're cut into small pieces. So I want it a little bit runnier to make it not too heavy. I hope it's enough now. I have a little spoon here to cut to get the rest out carefully. Should be enough. Yeah, I make a new batch once in a while and then I have a ready-made dressing and I can quickly make a salad anytime. Yeah? That's good. The dressing is important for a salad. With a nice dressing, you can make uh, wonderful salads. The dressing is uh, one of the main parts to make it delicious. And when you have a new dressing, I always add uh, a new ingredient to the salad to take a tomato out and put a pea in or whatever. I can have standard combinations and make small changes to these standards, variations, and then I have always new, 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 new recipes and um, to really enjoy the endless vegan variety. And that's what veganism is about from the culinary uh, viewpoint, I would say, the variety. That's what it's like today. It's my, my main, together maybe with some potatoes or whatever you like. And I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you like, like my video, subscribe MD Vegan on YouTube, push bell, get notified when a recipe comes out every day, and enjoy endless vegan variety. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and X.